The other day, there was a comment in one of my videos about how I intended to resist. And the person asked a perfectly legitimate question, and just how do you intend to resist? Well, that's what I want to talk about in this video. How do I intend to resist, assuming Joe Biden holds on to his lead and is inaugurated in January as president of the United States? I guess a good place to begin would be to discuss the things that I won't do as part of my effort of resistance. For example, if I'm walking down the street and I see an old lady on a walker, I'm not going to shove her over and push her on the ground. Uh, nor if I see a, a crowd of protesters uh, protesting for BLM or a group of Antifa people or, or progressives in vagina hats, I'm not going to drive my vehicle into them and plow over them in an effort to hurt, maim, and kill them. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I won't pick out, you know, properties, businesses owned by progressives and set fire to them. Uh, I, won't, I won't be committing arson. Uh, I also or won't be uh, stealing things from Target or Walmart or any of the other stores in and around where I live. I won't be a, uh, what do they call them, uh, undocumented shopper. No, I'm not going to become an undocumented shopper. So no looting, no arson, no pillaging, uh, no beating up old people. I don't intend to look up uh, donors to the Biden campaign on the Internet and go outside their houses and protest and threaten them, you know, TP their trees or smash their mailboxes or uh, anything like that. So let me get that off. That's not what I'm going to do. I will not be doing those things as part of my personal resistance. So what will I do? Well, actually, somebody wrote the handbook for me and other people on the right as to how we should hand ourselves over the next four years. And the people who wrote that book, of course, were progressives. For example, uh, Joe Biden will not be my president. You know, Joe, you're not my president. I'm sorry. But for the next four years, you or if something happens to you and uh, Kamala Harris becomes president of the United States, she won't be my president either. Uh, what else? Let's see. The election itself. I'm not going to accept it as legitimate. Joe, Kamala, you will not be legitimate presidents in office. For four years, you're not legitimate. I mean, after all, Donald Trump wasn't legitimate. So why should you be legitimate? I won't accept the election. I'll claim for four years it was stolen. Now, obviously, it wasn't Russian collusion. I think I'll pick Chinese collusion. How about that? Yeah, I, I think that sounds good. I mean, after all, especially with China. Joe, you know, you've got your positions on China. Uh, you know, whoa, shutting down flights from China, that's just xenophobia. And, of course, you have your brother and your son. They seem to be making plenty of money uh, from China. So I think that that has, you know, there's a little more evidence there than this idea that, you know, Trump and Putin were working together. So I, I intend to focus on that for the next four years. But this was a stolen election. He's an illegitimate president. He's not my president. And he's a tool of the Chinese. That the Chinese basically are controlling the presidency of the United States. Worked for you, didn't it? Also, there's social media. You know, I, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Parler, MeWe. There's another one I just joined. I can't even think of the name of it. There's so many of them. And then, of course, there's YouTube. And I, at least for the time being, I have platforms there that I can use to voice my opinions. And every time you make a decision I don't like, I'm going to hammer away at you. Whether it's foreign policy, domestic policy, uh, and I'll always, whatever you do, I'll put the worst spin on it possible. You know, if there are people in cages on the border, you put those people in those cages. Well, actually, I guess actually you did because the cages uh, were developed during the uh, Obama-Biden years and it was Trump who inherited them. So, but I'll have you putting the, the people in the cages. Anything else you do that goes wrong, maybe even if it goes right, it won't matter. 
I'll just attack you for the sake of attacking you because after all, you're not my president. And I'll just hammer away the little bit I can do, chip away at the armor and try to raise concerns about you know, our policies under the Biden-Harris administration, or is it the Harris-Biden administration? I can, never, I can never keep myself clear on that. Of course, she couldn't either. You couldn't either, to tell you the truth. So who knows? But you, get the, you get the idea, you get the drift. Everything you do, I'm gonna attack. And just I'll just keep doing that for four years. That's another form of resistance. I'll do it on social media, I'll do it on Facebook, I'll do it on Twitter, Parler, uh, MeWe, or whatever the other one I, I just joined the other day, YouTube. I'll, I'll keep cranking out videos that instead of you know supporting Trump and all, will be attacking your administration, attacking your appointments, attacking whatever you do, calling into question every election that a Democrat wins, everything's illegitimate, everything's Chinese collusion, and you better be sure I'll keep track of what you're doing with our China policy and our Iran policy too, because I'm a little suspicious there as well. But we'll see what happens with that. I think that'll keep me busy for four years, and I'm sure there's going to be lots of things that your administration does that I'll disagree with, and that will give me plenty of fodder to you know pile on, you know, and because I mean, who else is going to do it? The media. I've seen the questions the media ask you. You know, I thought I thought it was just Obama that they were in love with, but I realize now they're in love with any progressive, because you're doing their bidding because they're the centerpiece of the elites in this country, and you're their tools. And you're just doing what they want you to do. So why wouldn't they do anything but praise whatever actions you do take, whatever decisions you do make, whatever policies you do pursue, no matter how stupid they are, no matter how backward they are, no matter how destructive they turn out to be. It doesn't matter. I'll be there and I'll be piling on I'll be reminding people that you're not legitimate. I'll be reminding people that you're a tool of China. I'll be reminding people that you're not my president. Well, anyway, those are my plans for resistance. What about yours? Let me know in a comment. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Share the video with your friends. If you can, subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, Stand tall, stand firm, keep resisting, and also keep fighting.